Today we're gonna build a voting system for our apps. One subscriber asked me to build a voting system and I would like to make a video about this. This tutorial will lead you to think new ideas for your apps and your social media apps will have more useful features for your users. We will start with data structure. We will need question, answer and date. I'm building them now. As you can see, we have options as string and array. This is so important for view of buttons and its collection. String will help us to show options. Array will help us to collect user ID on Firestore data. And also we have voted user data. This array will help us for conditional visibility. Okay, we have finished our collection. Let's configure creating pool. We will need text fields. It will help us to transfer question and options to Firestore. I am building UI for creating pool. Okay, now action time. Find create document and find water collection. We will reference authenticate user because we will make it special for unique users. And set values as I am doing now.
we will take data suite widget state text field and send them to Firestore. That's it. Now we will configure options and results. There will be two columns. We will use the as a columns for conditional visibility. We will hide results before voting. When user click button, buttons will disappear and results will shown on screen. This is why we created voted user list. Because if we don't create voted user array list, this will create some mistakes on results. Like one option will be shown, other will not be shown. I solved it with this way. Anyway, let's configure backend query. You will only choose voting collection and confirm. We will also configure document from reference for user information. Do what I am doing now. Ok, set all values of voting collections on elements.
Now time is conditional visibility. We have two columns, so we will use two conditional visibility. I will start with column of buttons. Click conditional visibility. Select conditions, single condition. For first value, click what document voted user. Available option will be list contain items. Select authenticate user, user reference. Confirm all. Choose equal to. For second value, value source will be specific value. It will be false for our buttons. We will do same for results. I will change only value source as true. That's it. Now we will configure showing selected option icon on results. We will put icons on results and use conditional visibility for both icon. We will do same procedure for icons too. I am showing you now. So I want to show you what we have built here. Okay, we are testing now. Let's create a question for pool. I post now. Let's choose one option. it is working I will create a new pool Now you can see both uh, icons is working. This is a mistake. We should change this. Okay, now we will change the value. We should change only uh, this. do same for this that's it let's test again and it 
will be so hard to answer this question Real Madrid or Barcelona I like both of them for football Icons is working correct now. You can do many things with this logic. Actually, I could show you this with more different features, but I would like you to understand this logic and make your own solutions. Maybe I can bring another tutorial video with same logic on today's video. If you like it, this video, please like button. You will help me to reach more people with this way. I would like to see you in our Flutter Flow community, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The channel reached 300 subscribers and thank you for this. If you want to support me more, I put my Buy Me Coffee page link on description. I also leave links on description which you can contact with me on Telegram or Discord. I share there what I am building on Flutterflow nowadays and make pools and ask your advice about what we can make together on Flutterflow. Don't hesitate to ask me questions and I always try to answer your old questions. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.